Hey LCA fans, this is Michael Macon with Lights Camera Akron. And today I'm going to be taking you on a little tour around our city to check out some of the coolest abandoned places there are. First up, I'm at pretty much the closest I can get to what used to be the biggest mall in the area, Rolling Acres Mall. Now it's actually going to be taken over by a Amazon facility. There's going to be over 1,500 workers working there. Right behind me is the last still standing anchor of this mall. Now this is just our first stop, so let me show this to you guys and then we'll check something else out. Unfortunately, I was never able to check out this place when it was still open and just a dead mall. A little guilty pleasure of mine. But even a year ago when I drove by, all the anchors were still there. In July of this year, Amazon bought the land, tore down what was left, and is currently working on a new distribution center. It's sad to see something that was once so thriving just fall apart, but it's kind of poetic that an Amazon center is being put in its place. One of the biggest blows to Rolling Acres was its surrounding area. When your neighborhood is crumbling and your clientele can't afford to go shopping anymore, it's kind of a recipe for disaster. Not to mention the history of violence at this place. Next place I decided to check out is one you UA students ought to know. So guys, as promised, I made it here today to the Rubber Bowl. Now unfortunately, most of it is blocked off, so I'm not really able to get inside or check out most of that, but I did grab some pictures for you guys, and it's really awesome here. There's a lot of graffiti, but there's also just so much history here at this place. The Rubber Bowl was Akron's football stadium from 1948 to 2008, 70 whole years. Located by the old Akron Municipal Airport, the Zips had some of their best ever seasons here. Sadly, I wasn't able to get too many shots here due to restricted access, but you should definitely check it out before it's all gone. The facility was formally condemned in 2017, and partial demolition happened in 2018, and since then has stalled, and the side on the hill is still standing. Next stop! So guys, we've made it to our final destination today, and I am at Chapel Hill Mall in Akron, Ohio. And while this place is still open, I'm currently standing in front of what used to be Sears, which recently closed back in 2017. Now along with that, one of their other anchors, Macy's, recently closed in 2016. So in the past few years, this mall has seen a really big decline, and currently their only anchor left is J.C. Penney's, and the inside of the mall is about 50% empty as well. So I'm going to walk around here, take some pictures and videos, and tell you guys a little bit about the mall, and check out the inside as well. So, I know I told you guys I was going to check out the inside, but I ran into this. Yeah, unfortunate. But nonetheless, from my experience on the inside of the mall and on the outside, it's quite apparent that a lot of things are neglected. It's unlikely that any retail stores will ever go into these anchors ever again in their condition. And I feel a strong vibe here that in a few years, Chapel Hill, without a new buyer for redevelopment, will suffer the same fate as Rolling Acres. Although the mall was renovated in the mid-90s, it never really helped pick up business and has been in a steady decline ever since, except for the past three years where it's dropping rapidly. Chapel Hill, actually seven years older than Rolling Acres, built in 1968, has outlived its much larger brother, although it looks like it's coming to an end. Well guys, our abandoned adventure has come to an end. But I know I had a fantastic time doing this and I really hope that my curiosity sparks some in you guys to go check out some of these cool places like I did today. I know I had a lot of fun doing it and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. So go check it out yourself sometime soon.